Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vimbre Cat, and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Week. Today is the last What I Eat in a Week before I go to Tennessee, so the next one's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can maybe go to a restaurant. Wait, let me tell you what restaurant I'm considering going to. Gray's in Nashville. I know y'all told me to go to Avo and Wild Cow, but I've actually already been there. Yes, it was three years ago, so the quality of video is not that great, but I kind of wanted to go somewhere new. Um, I am gonna be going to a vegan restaurant there, so we'll check it out together. But for the rest of it, I'm gonna be hanging around like a lot of non-vegan family, so wish me luck. Let's go over the usual disclaimers. I'm not a dietitian or a nutritionist. Nutritionist, this is just what I eat displayed for y'all to see. I usually have a coffee every morning, um, Bucello with Silk Vanilla Soy Creamer. I'm also taking Omega-3 and B12. But I don't have that much to say in this intro, so let's head straight into the video. Hi, Mom. Hi, guys. Good morning. Okay, so breakfast today uh, is in the freezer. My little brother brought it for me. Um, and it's an Amy's frozen meal. I know, I know. Uh, this is like my second week in a row eating a frozen meal. But you know what? Sometimes life is really busy and they're super convenient. Hi, Dad. Do you want to say hi to my YouTube? This is my dad. You guys have seen him a bunch before. Hi, this is Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he, he brought it with him to work so I can heat it up. So I'm going to grab it from the freezer and I'll be back. It's in the microwave, um, but while it's microwaving, this is the frozen meal that I've been liking a lot. It's just like super high protein and keeps you full for a really long time, not sponsored. Um, but it has 20 grams of protein and it's yummy. I usually love to eat uh, tofu scramble with ketchup, but this one comes with like a side of stewed tomatoes that's so good and it definitely is like even better than ketchup. Um, and yeah, it's vegetables and it's protein and I'm not I'm I'm not sponsored so I should stop raving about it. They too much free advertisement. Here it is. I mean like it's a microwave meal so it's not going to be beautiful or anything, but it definitely doesn't look bad and it smells absolutely delicious. Ta-da. And someone just walked by the kitchen and said, "Mmm, that smells good." So, I'm excited to eat. I will talk to you later. Bye. Literally about to leave, but I'm so hungry, so I'm microwaving my food and then just like running out with it and I'm going to eat it on my drive home. This is the food. Okay, it doesn't look that appealing, but I'm just gonna run you through it. So it's quinoa, uh, beans, peas, uh, yellow bell peppers cooked in a bunch of seasonings and tomato paste. I basically meal prepped a whole bunch of this, and then I, I usually eat it sprinkled with this, like some cheese and salsa or whatever. But I was too busy to pack that this morning, so this is all we got. I'm eating it on the way. Let's go. Hey guys. Okay, so I'm back home, and I just meal prepped one of the easiest things, one of my favorite things to meal prep: sushi bowls. So each one of the bowls looks like this. We have sushi rice, some baked teriyaki tofu, cucumber, uh, cabbage, and um... oh wait, psst, that is that was carrot, carrot, napa cabbage, cucumber, and I made three of them. Now when I eat it, I will be adding kimchi, soy sauce, and half an avocado. So these are lunches or dinners for the next three days. Food update. My boyfriend got me an acai bowl. Oh, you put yours in the freezer too? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that you were recording this. <laughs> we got one for Roberto, one for me. Yeah. I'll show you mine. Can't see, but it has strawberries and mango on top and some cheese seeds and acai on the bottom. Um, people always ask me why I don't like banana and granola on mine. I don't like granola because cold granola feels weird in my mouth. Just roll with it. And then I don't like banana because I only like banana when it's really ripe and I feel like sometimes when you get banana from a store, it's not the correct ripeness level. So that's why. So I'm having a big ass acai bowl for dinner and Roberto and I are still watching Breaking Bad. We're on the last season, but we're like three episodes from finishing the whole thing. I'm gonna miss it when it's gone. I'm still hungry, so we're eating one more thing tonight. First off, we have some leftover vegetables from when I made sushi bowls. So we have carrots and cucumber. But we also have some grilled cheese on our frying pan. So when that's done, I'll show you that. Here it is. It's not the best grilled cheese, partially because I don't know. And partially because it's made with Daya 
uh, jalapeno Havarti, which is not a grilled cheese type cheese, but it's all I had and I wanted something salty. So this is dinner. Hey guys, good morning. So I'm at work. I brought uh, the sushi bowls that I made yesterday. Well, one of them. Uh, and here it is. I took all the veggies out, microwaved the tofu and the rice, and then put the veggies back in. And then I will be topping it with three things. First, this half avocado. Second, this kimchi. And third, this soy sauce. I've seriously considered buying soy sauce packets for such things, but that'd be wasteful. So I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep on taking soy sauce in these. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put it all together and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, and this is how it looks like. So I just like uh, plopped everything on top of each other and then I have the kimchi on the side just because the bowl is getting pretty full. But this is my breakfast. Good morning. It is disgustingly hot and muggy outside. So when I got to my parents, I was hungry and all I wanted was fruit. So I made myself this big bowl of fruit. You can't tell, but you got some cherries. Uh, that's apricot. But underneath is a mango. Let me try to show you that. Mango. And then a couple, got a couple chocolate covered frozen strawberries in there too so this is my lunch not exactly balanced but exactly what i was craving okay so this is my dinner i was going to make full for dinner but then i found out my grandma sent me some bami it's like okra tomatoes onions stewed together and then i'm gonna eat it with pita bread like this and that's how it looks like i have dessert one of my favorites this is the haagen -Dazs. Double chocolate ice cream bar, non-dairy. These are so freaking rich that they look small, but they're so rich that like sometimes halfway through I'm just like, Ugh. do you ever eat something so chocolatey that you're just like, maybe this isn't good. Anyway, that's like that, but like, it's still good. You know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? You ever eaten something too chocolatey? Anyway, so it's so chocolatey that like, I literally could not eat it if it was bigger than this, but. Got a chocolate shell, and then chocolate on the inside, come on. And then you can't tell, but there's also like chocolate fudge swirl. So, that's dessert. I'm back home, and I was gonna eat that like quinoa bean thing, but I didn't feel like eating anything big. So as a little snack, I had this Nature's Bakery brownie bar. Ta-da! Good night. <laughs> First off, let's say good morning to the two new leaves that Louie is putting out. Good morning, little baby leaves. Um, but also good morning to my kimchi avocado toast. So we have two rye toasts here, uh, full of avocado and a ton of kimchi. I'm actually going out to shoot a video in a minute, but I woke up really hungry today, which rarely happens. Uh, so I made this, let's do better lighting, maybe this. Yeah, there you go. Um, so yeah, I wanted something small-ish to eat, so this is my breakfast before I go shoot a video. No, <gasps> Wow! I feel like my Monstera looks really big today. Hi, beautiful! Aw, she's so pretty. Then I went to go shoot a video at this place called Fangan. It's a tofu shop in Chinatown. I got two containers of tofu pudding, one sweet and one savory, and I also got rice cakes white and matcha. I'm just having a little snacky snack. Uh, we have some mango with tahini. Roberto shot this video yesterday, so we had a lot of like mango in the fridge for it, so I took some, and then I paired it with some frozen blueberries, and I'm just snacking while I edit my YouTube video. Hey guys, this is Roberto. The story of a girl. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna meal prep and you know recently I've been recording all of my meal preps so y'all could follow along. Uh, this one I'm kind of doing speed it up because it's a repeat. Do you remember when I had a giant thing of Napa cabbage and then I stir fried it with some uh, tofurkey lately seasoned chicken and some seasonings and stuff? Well, I'm doing it again because I once again have a gigantic Napa cabbage. How do you, how else? Actually, you know what? I would love to know. How do you use up this much Napa cabbage. This Napa cabbage was bigger than my head. And now that I have eaten it for like three days, it is now the size of my head. I even put it in my ramen today and it's still huge. So I'm gonna stir fry it with some tofurkey lightly seasoned chicken and then add some teriyaki sauce, soy sauce, gochujang, maybe, maybe a little bit of maple syrup or agave and sesame oil. 
and put that on rice and meal prep it. So um, if you want details of that, go back like two YouTube videos because I did it then. I'll show you the result. Oh wait, 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 wait. So while while I'm cooking, I'm actually eating because I made myself some ramen. Oh, I don't want to touch it with one hand. I made myself some ramen. It's currently cooling on top of the fridge. So this is the ramen cooling. It's just ramen and this like soup base and Napa cabbage. So this is what I'm eating for lunch um, and it's very, very hot. So I'm waiting for it to cool. And while it cools, I'm cooking the rest of the Napa cabbage. That's all, goodbye. Hey, and this is how that giant Napa cabbage looks like after you cook it. It's <laughs> it's really, really comical because when I first put it in the, in the um, pan, it was like literally up to here. But I'm just gonna put this away. I don't feel like making rice right now. I'm just having kind of a lazy day. So uh, I'll make rice maybe tomorrow when I wanna eat this. About to watch Bo Burnham's new Netflix special and I'm snacking on these veggie chips. Round two this week of possibly the worst grilled cheese known to man. This cheese was just not made for this purpose, but I'm craving something salty and I'm, I did it again. That texture speaks volumes. Hi, good morning. Okay, so today was wild. We had a photo shoot this morning and so much other things that we did. Um, so it's like literally 2.30 and I haven't eaten yet and I'm so hungry, but I have for me, like one of my favorite things to eat, y'all know what I'm about to say, sushi bowl. Sushi bowl. So we have half an avocado, oh yo, I opened my bag and you guys smell the kimchi, I feel bad. Um, kimchi with soy sauce, because I didn't have two containers, so I just like put it in one container together. And then the sushi bowl itself. So I'm just gonna heat this up and eat it. Y'all know what it looks like and I'll, I'll see you later when I get home. So Roberto just like shot this photo and for said photo, he had to buy like an acai bowl. So guess I gotta eat acai bowl. I looked at the acai bowl and it was completely melted because Roberto was doing photo shoots with it. So I threw some frozen blueberries in it and I blended it and now it's a smoothie. So having an acai blended bowl smoothie. Having a little veggie chip snack while I edit a video. I'm also about to eat a vegan gluten-free, sugar-free donut because I'm craving something sweet. Don't worry, I have another real meal coming up soon, but I have to make rice for it, but the pot for the rice is dirty, so I don't feel like it yet. Okay, so I'm not eating this because I'm not in the mood for pizza, but Roberto had a really awesome photo shoot today. <laughs> so I wanted to congratulate him. Um, by getting him pizza. He said he was craving it, so I got him pizza. This is from Screamers, and this is the pepperoni one, and it honestly smells so good. I take it back, pizza smelled good, so now <laughs> I do want pizza, so now I will have pizza. And Roberto went to the store to get us seltzer. Good morning, someone's apparently having a party outside. I just showered and I'm about to do my hair. I'm thinking doing like Dutch braids or something, but I made a uh, kimchi avocado toast for myself. One of the best versions of avocado toast in my humble opinion. I mean, sauerkraut avocado toast, pretty good too. Tomato, salt, pepper, avocado toast, pretty good too. I don't know. So the worst avocado toast is the one where you put lemon juice on top. I know, I know, I get it. I know a lot of people like it, but ew, I don't like it. Mm. I'm snacking. I'm cleaning. I'm cooking rice for my next meal and I'm snacking. I'm snacking on cucumbers and carrots. I finally made rice for the Napa cabbage and tofurkey lightly seasoned chicken stir fry type thing that I made the other day. So I made a plate for me or a bowl and a bowl for Roberto. And then I added the extra rice to the rest uh, for meal preps for the rest of the week. And yeah, if, if it wasn't clear that this, we're eating this now. <laughs> I'm so hungry and I, I technically have some food, okay? I technically have sushi bowl in the fridge, but I feel like I've been eating so much Asian food recently, I just don't feel like it. Don't feel like eating a sushi bowl. I could also make oatmeal, but I am not craving sweet. I'm craving savory. I don't have anything to make a full meal with without going to the grocery store, but it is drizzly outside and I don't feel like going out in the rain. So I'm just sitting here with my tummy a rumbling and I, and I don't know what to make. 
and I will not order out. Don't worry. Oh, oh no no! Oh no no! Okay, update. I'm gonna do something that I've never done before. I have black beans in the freezer. I'm gonna microwave them so they're not frozen anymore. And then I might make a dip out of them. Maybe similar to hummus, but like with black beans. Maybe not similar to hummus. Maybe I'll just blend salsa in them. <laughs> and then just like dip veggie chips in it. Or spread it on bread. I don't know, but I'll keep you updated. This is the best shit I've made out of nothing in my entire life. What the? Oh, it's so good. Okay, wait. <laughs> so I'll tell you how I made it. Even Roberto was like, don't do it, babe. Don't do it. You like it? Yeah, I even said ew, but now it's, it tastes really good. All right, I blended like two cups of black beans with a handful of boiled cashews, half a cup of salsa, no more than that. Three fourths of a cup of salsa. Yeah, something like that. Uh, some taco seasoning and some water and it's delicious so I'm eating that with veggie chips that's it <laughs> bye <laughs> for dinner we have a vegan bodega cat classic uh, you can't tell but there's oatmeal underneath all of this some frozen blueberries, a chopped up small peach I got a whole bag for five dollars the other day it was great and then a peach silk soy yogurt Hey guys, good morning. So I didn't have time to meal prep. I didn't know what to bring, but yesterday my mom gave me some stuffed grape leaves. So I was like, that'll work for breakfast tomorrow until I can cook later today. So let me show you. Have my, oh no, my camera's dying. One second. Sorry about that. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so we have stuffed grape leaves. My grandma made these. Um, they have like rice and some other vegetables in them. They look like that. And that's gonna be my breakfast. Hey guys, I'm back at the house. I uh, I was looking for parking for like 20 minutes and I was getting so frustrated because I was hungry. Um, I hate when that happens. But anyway, I'm back home. I walk in and Roberto's shooting an ad for like hot dogs and there were some broken buns and extra hot dogs. So I just, <laughs> I made myself hot dogs with broken buns. Ta-da! Wow, that, this is this is vlogger life, vlogger like content creator life. This is it right here. Broken hot dogs. Cheers. So my boyfriend, wait, where is it? Got me gushers. So I will be eating them now as a snack. So I'm meal prepping like the absolute laziest thing I could think to meal prep. I did not want to go to the grocery store whatsoever. Pasta. At least the sauce is a little interesting. I could have gone with plain red sauce, but I did not. Let me show you. Is this? I feel like, oh, no, I think it's fine. Um, so what I did was I took my favorite plain red sauce, which is ragu old world style. Once you, once you have that, you just cannot go back. It's so good. Um, and I blended it with like half a cup-ish of soaked cashews. And then I added some spinach, some nutritional yeast. Um, so this is going to be my, my sauce. And now I'm boiling uh, chickpea pasta. So that's going to be my meal prep. Literally the worst meal prep video I've, I've ever made. But that's my meal prep for the day. I'll show you when it's done. I think I'm reluctant to spend a lot of time on like meal prepping right now. Because I know I'm going to Tennessee in a couple days. And I just like don't want to have a bunch of complicated meal prep so I'm just gonna leave and here's the finished product literally nothing nothing great to look at it's it's just sustenance it'll do a pasta for dinner uh, I was gonna eat that like cabbage stir-fry stuff but Roberto wanted it so I gave it to him and I just heated up some pasta that I just made and I'm having it for dinner and some little chocolate crisps <clears throat> chocolate crisps for dessert Hey guys, good morning. Nothing too exciting today. Same breakfast as yesterday. I just grabbed more grape leaves. I'm not even heating them up. I'm eating them cold because I'm busy at work, but I'll see you later. Okay, so I just got to my parents' house and I have been craving a bagel and cream cheese. So guess what I just got? A bagel and cream cheese. Poppy seed with tofu vegetable cream cheese. Can I do this with one hand? We're about to find out. It's supposed to be toasted, but it doesn't feel very warm. This is not toasted. I am disappointed, not gonna lie. But 
I will still eat it. There's my lunch. All right, so we have fries for dinner. Just kidding, not just fries. We have a burger too. So Burger Fi does a vegan burger. Uh, this is a Beyond Burger. And I got like the usual, the usual burger things on it. You know, lettuce, tomato, pickles, mustard, ketchup. Ugh. And this is dinner. Ooh la la. Come on, focus. Ooh la la. Yum. And that's all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some meal ideas or were just entertained. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I'm posting every single day and follow me right here. And I'm posting what I eat in a days on Instagram reels. So if you like what I eat in a weeks and you want like mini versions, then Instagram. And if you want access to my Finsta slash see videos early, then down below is a link to my Patreon. You can sign up there. But that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Jasmine, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, and Shanta. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.